This is the Mikes and Beers Podcast. Hi! Welcome back, everybody, to our own podcast. Me and Sam, the best looking, the best people you could ever ask for. Where we do a podcast where the mics are hot, beers are on ice, and we are ready to go. I still don't have our intro down, but you better believe I don't care. (laughs) We actually don't. We just, we just, we just want to drink the beer. Absolutely, Sam. Tell me, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good. It's uh, it's raining, so that's kind of like. But I mean, it's a great day to stay inside and drink some beer. And that's why we do what we do because when there's nothing to do outside. We sit and drink. Yeah. And how are you, Woody? I am getting anxious. I'm ready to have a sip. Because Sam, we we got to get to our favorite part of the podcast. We just yeah. grab a hold of our beers tightly, warmly, lovingly, and get that so sweet sound. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready. Oh, it's oh. wonderful. Oh, before, okay, so I'm, I'm going to pour this. And the thing is, don't, no one, please, I really hope this isn't like sacrilege, but I am pouring this into a wine glass because this particular beer says it, the recommended glass is a goblet glass, so. A goblet? Is it the goblet of fire, Harry Potter style? <laughs> no, it's actually, oh, it's pretty hilarious, this beer. All right, I, I threw mine into a football. You guys can't see for those listening on Spotify and Anchor, checking out mics and beers on there. Um, oh, okay. It's literally just a football glass. I, and I, I love it. I think J- Justin has those kind of glasses too. I've drank from them so many times. But As I also don't have the recommended glass, which is great. I'm going to show you guys really quick on camera. Uh, you can see just in the oh. bottom corner here, and you can see the company we're going to do. This company actually has the recommended glasses for every one of their beers, and that's incredible. And because oh. I don't have my uh wheat beer glass available right now Um, i want to use my football glass and this is what we're going with yeah i decided to just kind of go with what i could potentially like just scrape up so yeah this my beer it says that it recommends a goblet glass i actually have glasses with my beers in them for like like just it it, i'll i'll showcase them every time i i pour another beer eyes don't matter just matters if it fits (laughs) Yeah, seriously. I was actually kind of concerned. I'm like, is this going to fit? It fit. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Well, Sam, what did you try to fit in today? Oh, well, this is the brewery that we are talking about today, um, which is the All or Nothing Brewery uh, located in Oshawa. Um, And this one is the Screamsicle Cream Ale with Lactose. It is cotton candy with cherry, raspberry, and lactose. So, I mean, if anyone has seen Big Mouth, (laughs) <laughs> this is this is the cotton candy brandy for kids by kids help us. <laughs> I just love it. I want, we want, we would want to <laughs> plug that in so hard because that's hilarious. But <laughs> I definitely a beer I have never heard of before that style or anything. Sam, is it is it sweet to the tooth like just cotton candy? Give me give me a taste. There, honestly, um, it is a great beer. It I I honestly thought it was going to be just like boom like cotton candy. But it actually isn't. It's very subtle. It's hmm. Ooh, going back for a second. Give me, give me, a, give right. me a second. Yeah. Sam's just getting right in there. I'm doing the TJ. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Let me taste it. <laughs> Sounds like a friggin' chipmunk, and then say, oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. Well, we know it's good, TJ. <laughs> no, it's it's actually it's really light. It's it's such like a light when it says like an ale. Like usually ales are like a little bit more powerful, but this one's like really light with like a subtle, just like. On, uh, like a subtle like fruitiness to it so it's it's a really good beer it's one of those beers that like i mean sometimes like you have a beer and it's like that's you know one one and done kind of thing and i'm ready to move on to another one this one i'm like i could drink another one and another one and another one which is probably really oh but it's only it only clocks in at 4.6 so that's that's perfect that's the best wording i've heard for al- for percentage of alcohol now it clocks in at it clocks in at 4.6 abv it, it, hold on is it ABV? I think it's ABV. No, ABV oh. should be different. This I know is, mine. This is alcohol uh, slash volume, so I'm just ABV. Oh, never mind. Look at the IBU scale. Because again, this oh, it's company, not IBU. No, but this company thought of everything. They did. I have a little IBU scale on the can. That's wonderful. You I know did what too. that means? Mine's tiny, but it says 11. There you oh, go. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. And I mean, for anybody who doesn't know what an IBU score is, the best way to describe it is just the hoppiness flavor. If it's got that more, yeah, I find the bittery tones of hops, um, 
the higher you go and like the bigger IPAs and all that, they mm-hmm. definitely got that mm, kick to it. And the, well, here we and, go. It actually, like, so the labels, the labels tell you everything with this. Like, I mean, honestly, um, all or nothing thought of everything. Like, it's pretty much, it's perfect for someone who is like, just kind of beginning at you know doing beer tastings and stuff like i like beer i want to get it i want to get into it a little bit more this the the entire can just tells you everything you need to know um so yeah it tells you yeah i mean they have to tell you abv so they did good job um and it tells you yeah the recommended glass and it actually tell it also tells me that they used uh one type of hop and one type of malt um and then the ibu scale and they have a little blurb about the beer um, so I'm going to read mine for Screamsicle. Sure. All or Nothing Screamsicle is a delicious cream ale featuring the fruit found on the front of this can complemented with vanilla and lactose. So they, it's like this is a limited release. So they change they change it constantly. So like they just have like this tag over top of it telling you that it's cotton candy. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, this uh, this summer classic is smooth, rich and creamy, just like a creamsicle. So it, I mean, yeah, kind of is. It's not as creamy as I thought it was going to be, but it's still just really nice, really refreshing. Who doesn't like a nice cream filled delectable Who doesn't love taste? some cotton <laughs> candy brandy? Who doesn't love that shit? But I do laugh because when you talk about, like, so I'm looking over my can and I'll get into mine. Mm-hmm. So I am doing the Hustle Over Hype Wheat Ale from All or Nothing. It, you know what? It's just a nice, smooth, refreshing ale. There's, I'm not good at telling you the, the, what what kind of nodes and flavors I taste. It's just frigging good. This is something. Hey, if it's warm outside and you just want a nice beer, flip and take it. This is one of the, this is a great one. I can't. We are not beer it. experts. I'm, no, we're not beer experts. I tell you what's good, and you know, take my word for it. Or if you don't, this is something. I'm a big beer drinker though, and I could stomach a few, <laughs> quite a few of these, and I would have a great time. But going back to the can stuff, what I this is like huge with them. And for those listening on Spotify and Anchor, I will explain it. On the can here, like uh, Sam has told us, we I'm going to show right in the bottom here. We do have the per- like how many hops, malts, and the glasses. They have instructions oh, wow. for the perfect pour. And That's you know, so cool. Do you want to know how many people know the perfect pour? I don't. I don't know anybody. Shut up, Sam. You don't Excuse know. Excuse <laughs> me. I did the perfect pour at the Guinness storehouse and I got a certificate saying so, like all the other people in line. That's pretty cool. That's good. <laughs> so our, our Sam is an expert. She knows how to pour the beer, drink the okay. beer, promote the beer, wear the beer. You know, just depending on how drunk I've you worn is. beer before. That's uh, that's another story. <laughs> yeah. But this one I'm uh, I am quite impressed with. So all or nothing. Cheers for the our mm-hmm. two. Yeah, that we got to try with you guys. So I know Sam said she is taking a limited time one. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was going to just take a quick sip. Uh, one of the two, or the two at best I got him seeing is uh, they actually have, again, written on the can. I love this. I, I can't yeah. stress this enough. Uh, but they're full-time flagship beers. And I like that in a company. I really do when they have their yeah. flagships, what, what you stand by. I know in tap rotations, we, everybody likes to have their new fun stuff, like Sam said. There's a cotton candy lactose cherry a yeah. lot of cool stuff where like normally i'd be like mm, i don't know if i'm gonna try that so i like when uh the beers that they really stand on that they stand by i can't wait can't wait to try more but sam see the thing that i really like and this is i'm gonna showcase not really showcase the the next beer that i'm gonna try i'm just saying like so this is the size of and it says full this is a full-time flagship yep. um so that again like what what he said like you can get this one all the time and this is like a regular like king size well not king size sorry uh tall boy <laughs> not, king size, king. not king size not king size and it's not the size of a wine bottle um but then if you compare this is one of the um this is the limited release so like you don't get the same quantity but it's 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 perfect for someone who's just like oh i want to try it but i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it so i just want like just a bit so I thought it was absolutely perfect. Um, what, what do I always preach, Sam? Size don't matter. It's how it tastes. It's all about the girth. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, then in that case, I'm sorry. A tall, or no, yeah, the tall boy is thicker. So I guess by that logic, tall mm-hmm. boy's longer, thicker, and tastes better. So, you know, buy that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> things that you can say <laughs> out in public and things you can say in the bedroom. Just say them all out there. Just Who cares if people judge you? Just don't say it in front of you. You know, HR or anything, because they we might don't get upset. Them. I am HR, and I yeah. 
I think we actually had a conversation about that before, about me being HR. And I'm just like, I was the one, oh, was that the, uh, we had a, a wedding that we went to and I was HR. I'm just like, just grab her butt. Yeah. And Sam nearly got us in trouble, but we're not going to get into that. That is something yeah. I don't ever want to talk exactly. about. And again, jokes, that was a whole thing. It's an inside joke. Don't worry about what it sounded like. But going back to all or nothing brewing company, um, I know we like to showcase them a little bit more. And for me, how we ended up finding them and getting to know them a bit more they were always that beer company. So in Oshawa, I, I try to drive around. I know it's off of Ritson Road, just in the Durham region there, like we said, in the, in the city of Oshawa. It used to be the old beer store for me. Old, old beer store. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that it was getting renovated, paid no attention to it. You keep driving by. It's like, oh, brewing company, all or nothing. Okay, sure. And then that was, again, I know in our last podcast, I talked about the Chronicles. I was a domestic guy at that point. Mm -hmm. Like my domestic beers didn't give them the time of day. Um, so we actually have a buddy who does work for them. Mm -hmm. um, and because we're getting more and more of the craft beer over these years, it was definitely something that was time. We always preach support local, buy local, buy your craft, support these guys because they're, they're amazing. Yeah. So we want to do a little research into them and, you know, show our support in, in many uh, loving ways. And it was cool. What, what I ended up finding out in my research, because Sam's going to have a lot more. She was the one that's actually got to buy for them already, just actually going to the brewery itself. Yeah. And I've gone to the LCBO. So there you go. It's a great place. You can get it at the brewery, LCBO and beer store. But apparently it was a, this company was founded by Jeff and Eric Dornan. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your guys' uh, names wrong, but a couple, a couple of local boys, I guess they want to start the shop in Oshawa back in 2014. We found out that they actually went to Oakville in 2016, where they wanted to keep uh, brewing more and more different kinds. I think at that uh, time I read they were looking into meads, they were looking into ales, they were looking into a whole couple of different things. I can see and that with their first, like their starting beers, is that they were more into that. Oh, for sure. And and they were good. I remember trying them back in the day and it was just kind of, again, getting used to craft beer. I just hmm. tried a craft beer and said, okay, whatever, going back to, you know, my Molson Canadians and blah, blah, blah. And oof, I don't miss those days. But then they were lucky enough for all of us, they came back in 2019. And they've really stepped it up and they've really put a lot of money in, or not even just the money, the effort and the just quality they put into that place. And Sam, I guess you could talk more about that, of how the atmosphere is there and everything about it. Go ahead. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that if you, if you go to the LCBO and you see an all or nothing, um, like beer, you can already tell about the quality that they have in their beers because of the labels, the labels um we were just talking about like the information you can find on labels but the actual like artwork um is just incredible like like look at that it's screamsicle he's like literally going to beat up a creamsicle yeah, uh, i think I wanna, that's hilarious i don't know who this guy is because he's violent he's fighting this, creamsicles he's fighting hops monsters oh this guy this guy would uh I, i'll bring him up to the cottage he could be he could be a good buddy definitely I'd give him I'd give him a massage. I'd, 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 I'd lotion him up and put some. Okay there. <laughs> okay there. Muscular um, man. But yeah, so um, if anyone wanted to go and check out All or Nothing, actually, the address is 439 Ritson Road South in Oshawa. Um, honestly, go check them out. So this is, this is, this is what happened. I, um, we, we don't, me and Woody, we don't really like plan episodes very well. No. We were, he, you told me yesterday that we were going to be doing all or nothing. I'm just like, okay, I need to go and find an all or nothing beer. So I, I checked out like uh, online at the LCBO and they had some, but they didn't have a lot. Um, and I just wasn't really, I was just like, I don't know if I really want to get one of the ones that they have there. And I just knew, I'm just like, so they are located in Oshawa. That's not a big deal. So I looked up like when they, uh, when they closed and stuff like that, it was at like 9 PM. I'm just like, this is perfect. And they offered um, curbside pickup. So um, I just ordered like a bunch of beers online and went and go pick, uh, went and picked it up. Um, and their, their brewery, um, it honestly, like, yeah, uh, for, I didn't know that it was a historic beer store. I honestly, it looked, it looked like an old um, fire hall. <laughs> historic. Um, <laughs> With quotations. Just yeah. an old beer store. <laughs> but I thought it honestly seemed like an old fire hall because it had like these gigantic windows. Um, it's really cool inside. Um, and 
honestly, like they, yeah, the curbside pickup, you can go, you can park, you can call a number, um, give them your order number and they'll bring out the beer to you. So you don't even have to go inside, especially like for the pandemic. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably started this because of the pandemic, which honestly, like perfect. You don't have to go inside. You don't have to risk exposure or anything like that. Um, but for me, I, I showed up a little bit after curbside pickup. So I ordered curbside, but I didn't have, I, I, it was, it was, it, it had stopped at that point, but it was fine because, um, honestly, like going, go, like going in, they have automatic doors. I didn't touch anything. I literally just went there, picked up my beer and, and went out. Nice. Um, and the place there was absolutely incredible. Um, and, uh, then like afterwards I decided to start looking more so on their, on their website about like, you know, what, what they offer and everything. And I didn't know this, but I greatly appreciate that brewery because what they did with the pandemic, they started um, producing ethanol based hand sanitizer and they send that all over Canada. Um, so I think that's incredible. The fact that they're just like, you know what guys, world's in crisis. Uh, we want to help out our neighbors, our, our country. So we're going to shut down, like, I mean, they could be making money for like doing beer because that's what they do, but they just decided we're not going to do that anymore. We're actually making hand sanitizer and we are shipping that out. And I just, you know, hats off you guys, you guys are amazing for, for doing something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, seriously. Cheers. Cheers guys. On time like this, you know, all the extra help is so, so needed and so appreciated. And Mm -hmm. that's why we want to give spotlight to these kind of places. It's not just for what they did, what they do for us with the beer. It's Mm -hmm. what they also do for the rest of the community. Oh yeah. Um, but like, yeah, after I, I, I got back as well, I was like, you know, looking through like my beers and everything. And, um, this is so cute. They, they gave me like this sticker, the all or nothing sticker. And on the back, there's like a little blip about mighty moonshine. If anyone has never heard of it, I am going, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Get the glasses on paper. That's story time with, uh, Sexy librarians, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is Mighty Moonshine 1950 Chevrolet uh, 3800 one ton pickup. Mighty Moonshine was proudly manu- manufactured a few short kilometers from the brewery in 1950 at General Motors Oshawa plant. When Moonshine rolled off the assembly line, the vehicle was immediately put to work in Alberta, where it spent the better part of 40 years hauling barley and grains. We like to think Moonshine helped build the beer industry in Canada one bushel of grain at a time. After being retired from a hard hard life of farm work, Moonshine made its way to Vancouver Island where it lived for many years in a barn before it was brought back and restored at its new forever home at the brewery. We are so thrilled to have Mighty Moonshine back home in Oshawa and uh, we are proud to be, uh, to be using this piece of Oshawa history to deliver delicious craft beer to the Durham community. So I thought that was really cute. It Um, is really cool. I mean, like, heck, all or nothing uh, brewing company seems to be about coming home. They 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 mm -hmm. stayed. They were first Oshawa, left Oshawa, came back to Oshawa, had a vehicle that started in Oshawa, went to Alberta, came home to Oshawa. That I love that it's just good old good homemade stuff coming back home to the Durham region where it belongs. And that's that's so cool. And it's a whole show that sticker again, Sam. Yeah, it it doesn't do it justice. It is such a beautiful, beautiful truck. Like I'm it is. talking about your dream cars and, oh, I want this, you know, the oh. 68 Mustang. I want the 60 some odd ch- Challenger, Charger, the Darts, Corvette, Stingrays. Mm. No, give me that old school looking trucks like those. Oh, buddy, old. me too. Ooh. Me too. I, I like literally anytime, anytime I see um, a, tr- a truck of that caliber, of the Turn classic on. caliber, my heart stops. I have been on like the phone with Justin on my way home and like, I'm just suddenly like, oh, and he's like, what? I'm just like, I just saw a truck. <laughs> what is it? Take your pants off. I'm coming over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. Um, yeah. So I saw, I saw the truck there and I'm just like, that's pretty cool. But I thought it was just like, I don't know. I thought it was just like, they're almost like their mascot. Like this is, this is their truck. But the fact that like, they actually provide me with a little bit of history and like, I love history stuff. So like, I thought that was really cool. And knowledge is power. Knowledge hey. is power, guys. That's why I wear the glasses. <laughs> glasses. Okay, now I'm going to get mine. I'm going to see if I can feel the power, too. No, it won't work on you. Reaching over, grabbing my glasses here. And Sam, you tell the audience who can't see it on Spotify and Anchor at Mike's and Beers. Um, mm. Oh, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. To be honest, I think we have the same glasses. <laughs> yeah, they might be. Mine's just um, I, I I wear blue screen glasses. I can. Oh, the blue filter ones. Me too. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, blue filter, blue screen, blue abadida buddha. You know that kind of glasses. And I don't no feel any sex here. I feel like I'm um, I can do math drunk. <laughs> I, lo- I I feel like I can complete, um, I can figure out the rest of uh, pi. Like I can keep finding the next decimal points. I can build a rocket, but I, oh, and the glasses smell funny. Uh, they've been in my case for so long. They, it, they got a hint of that new, that new case uh, smell. Um, um, how are you smelling the glasses, sir? Well, <laughs> if I point my glasses up to right to the bridge of my nose, um, I'm drinking and I don't make a lick of sense right now. And I'm going to take these glasses off because they glare on the screen i know now, i keep like, my i keep my face down because otherwise if i go up you can see my screen and my my light because if i didn't have the light i would look like a ghost even though telling i us, still look like a ghost you can't uh, look up the screen can't look down because you know you had to cut your shirt up and just i did it's, yeah if you're wondering what we're talking about for those on spotify and anchor we are holding up our mics and beer shirts hit us up if you'd ever want one if you just want to wear our faces but yeah we seriously. like them because i, of, I feel uh, a little vain wearing my face, but I, oh, I'm not mad. I'm a, I'm okay with it. No, we look yeah. great. Let's just we flaunt it, flaunt what you got, and that's why I'm happy. Like I made headed look, to Avina. You just look like you're staring. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Sam. I was just gonna say, like I laugh at how you're yeah. just looking there. It looks like you're just staring down your shirt as we're just trying to do a yeah. podcast. It's like cool. Seriously. <laughs> um, no, I, I, if no one, if if no one see, uh, like you know uh, listened to or like seen the last one of the previous episodes we've we've got when we first showcased these shirts, um, I made my uh, crew neck into a V neck because I wanted a V neck and I didn't get a V neck, so I pretty much almost cut TJ's head open. <laughs> yeah, S- sorry, Sam, TJ. Sam sac- yeah, he's he's she sacrificed one of our other guys just so she could show cleavage, and it's well, like he put him he put himself in the middle. That's what happens. Yeah, which was horse crap. Who was he to decide to go middle? Like, eh. and, you know, I, I think that I should have been in the middle. Like, let's be honest. But then you would have been cut in half, and we're okay to cut him. I know, but you get to see me. So if you cut me in half, but you still get to see me, it's fine. Double the Sam. I like it. Yep. Um, hell, now, I want double the beer right now. My glass is getting a little low. I can't wait to get to our new our next beer. But I was, uh, and I actually have a little bit more to mention about All or Nothing Brew. Because we kind of got oh, sidetracked with, well, I mean, not sidetracked. I really wanted to talk about, you know, uh, Mighty Moonshine and everything like that. But I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very excited because I was looking at like, so they have like a section for all of their, their beers, and they have like snacks. They have frozen pizzas. Yeah, I saw that they on the website. Sell I was like, frozen cool. pizzas. I'm just like, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to try those. Um, but I was going through everything and. They have like these um, beer gift baskets, and oh one of them is called uh, oh, what is it called? But it's 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 a quarantine basket with your dog. Oh. Ah, it's That's pretty cool because they sell dog stuff. So the this wow. basket has like they sell a all or nothing beer can chew toy. Nah. So put that in the in the bin in the in the in the box. Then they have a, a bow tie that says "All or Nothing for Your Dog," and they put that in there too. Um, they have dog treats. I think they they also throw in um, like beef jerky for people. Two two uh, beer glasses because by the way, when we talked about the recommended glasses, they sell all of those glasses too. So like if you oh, nice. buy if you buy the the beer and it's like oh it, it recommends a goblet glass, they actually have a goblet glass that you can purchase that accompanies the beer so and then i think there's four beers in there too and like i mean i thought that was pretty cute because i'm just like oh you're quarantining with your dog here you go genius i mean the amount of how many people you know what they spend on their pets and what they'll do for their pets and on top of supporting local supporting a good craft beer and getting the beer on top of it how is that not a good deal like, oh, yeah. good call looking at that sam like i did oh. laugh at their website seeing uh, the pizza and not laughing in a bad way. Like that's super cool. The snacks and the food that they do offer when they're normally open, unfortunately due to pandemic and lockdown protocols, we're unable no. to do that at the moment because we're excited. We want to check out their patio, mm-hmm. but I know you've checked out their other merch and guys, I would applaud you to do the same. Like Sam said, get the glassware, get the shirts. They're all good quality stuff. Get more of the beer, support these guys. Like my God, like I, I can't wait to get more from them. They're so good, and they actually um, so they ship their the, so they they've been shipping their hand sanitizer um, Canada wide, so nationwide, oh, wow. um, 
uh, but they ship their beers prov- uh, provincial wide. So like all over, Can- like it doesn't matter where you are. You're at the Thunder Bay, you can you can purchase them their beer, and it'll be shipped to you from uh, using Canada Post. Um, and I think right now they have like a special on where if you buy like if you buy fifty dollars, you get like oh maybe I shouldn't really be saying this because I don't really want to misinform people. Well, then, you know um, what, what? Check out oh, the I, I, still, I still have it up here. Uh, spend $50 and get $10 flat rate Ontario wide shipping. There you go. Wow. And did you know, ladies and gentlemen, you can find them. I'm going to just uh, quickly interject because we're talking so much about where to, uh, you know, check these guys out. So I'm going to look at my handy dandy notes. There you, you know, go. The ones that me and Sam say that we'll write, you know, an hour before we start recording. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, and uh, you know, the time that I made fun of you for making notes. And, yep. and now, now I, it, I use them too. Now it's a good thing to do, but here, if you want to find all or nothing for yourself, go to all, all or nothing dot beer to go on their website and you can find all their great products we've been talking about on Instagram, go to all or nothing BH. That is B as in brewery H as in house brew house or on Facebook, all or nothing brew house and distillery. Three great ways on finding them, getting what you need that we've got to check them out on all three different platforms. It's, that was it's, so good. Yeah. Oh, see, holy. Literally, oh, yeah, I yeah. my beer. How the hell did you finish so quick? Oh, because it's honestly like I will get this one again, which makes me a little sad that it is a limited release. But I, I understand. You know, they actually like the the fact that they told me already that it's like this is a limited release. It's Not like okay, I won't get too attached. But I did really like that beer. That was that was really refreshing. Too attached. And ladies and gentlemen, ain't that the word of the day? That's why me and Sam are not dating. She got too attached and we had to just call it off. <laughs> sure. Yeah, vice okay. versa. Let's be real. <laughs> I got too attached. Stage five clinger. Yeah. Can I, if I yell loud enough, will Catherine hear me? Hi, Catherine. Uh, no, she locked, uh, she's in another room. You know, just oh, say. Hey, you locked her in a closet. That's fine. Hey, Mike's and Beer Studios is small, so <laughs> we need our space to Seriously. record. But yeah, so like, Guys, I, I hope you uh, can check them out and like them out as much as we do. But Sam, like, moving on, I know we've got to talk a lot about them, but they've kind of inspired us in a way to talk about our topic of the week. Because last time I tried to, in our last podcast, check it out on YouTube, Spotify, and Anchor under Mics and Beers. I tried to convince Sam, like, you know, we were talking about Easter, talking about, hey, who's more likely to be real, the Easter Bunny and all that. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like those questions. And we just try to oh. throw out. but. This time, instead of just finding random topics or topics of the month about celebrate or holidays and whatnot, all or nothing, God bless you guys, gave us an idea and what we want to talk about and hit us up on our channels. Like we said, we want to talk to you guys about what you might do or might give all to, or you might do nothing about or give nothing to. So what I guess an easier way to explain it, what would you give 100% to? What would you give 0% to? And I'll kick us off. Yeah. And I thought about this and it made me laugh. And one thing, you know, what you give a hundred percent to, I'm pretty sure Sam will both agree. And most people will is work. So like for myself, I work with uh, children who are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. And it's one of those jobs you, you don't get to half-ass, you don't get to pussyfoot around. It's something you got to give them the attention and the care and the time and the patience that they deserve. Mm-hmm. And it's something that me putting a hundred percent into has just made me love what I do even more. But yeah, that's something I like to say with when it comes to putting all into it's definitely work. I, I definitely love what I do as a behavior technician. Bet you didn't see that coming. Nobody does when I tell them that. They're like, oh, what are you? Dumbass. Every and time like, that you talk <laughs> about your job, I'm just like, God, he's such an asshole, but he has a heart of gold for doing that. Yep, it's uh it's a good way to put it. And then, you know, but Sam, it's not all it's not all gold and sunshine and roses hundred percent, because there are things I give zero to. I don't know if you guys can tell, listening again, Spotify and Anchor, I keep loving to plug us. Mm-hmm. But on the video here, you can see, I don't really, I'm not the epitome of fitness. This is, there's no six pack. There's, my legs are not that toned. So when it came down to something I'd give 0% to, fitness. Sports. No, 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 no not yet. Oh, sports. Now, only in certain things, practice. I used to play soccer. I used to play hockey, rugby. I did a fair bit of stuff. But if you made me practice, you go to your practice for an hour with your team. Oh my God. I was the guy that would dog it because I did not give a shit. I was there to socialize, have a good time. And I was a decent player. I'm not going to say I was cocky and didn't need to practice. I just sure as shit didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Soccer, I'll just kick a ball with people, shoot the shit, have a great time. 
hockey, same thing. I'll just go and start a random fight just for shits and giggles to warm us up. But yeah, like, like just to start us off, work 100%, practice for sports, <laughs> nearly zero. <laughs> It's funny that you say that because I do recall because we went to the same college, like not in the same year or anything like that. I think I started and you'd already finished. Um, and it's funny because I got one of the uh, fitness or athletic pamphlets and lo and behold, there is a picture of Kraft Woody wearing a battle kilt doing yeah. dodgeball. <laughs> And I'm just like, this is my buddy. And like, I had just met, like, you know, met like quite a few, uh, like new friends, like actually now lifelong friends. And I'm just like, huh, that's my friend. I went to, I went to, uh, to, well, elementary school with him. Like, so yeah, that's, that was quite, it was quite funny. Yeah. I was on a pamphlet for, uh, like a promotional pamphlet for college. Yep. Um, St. Lawrence college in Kingston, Ontario, Canada, where we supported some of their breweries. Um, yes. But yeah, that made me laugh because, but that's something again, sports, I would give a hundred percent in and dodgeball. It was a recreational, um, intramural sport that we did within the college. You better believe my team was drinking as we went there. So some people had a buzz that's dodgeball. So I took a t-shirt, cut it up a little bit at the frills and just stretched this out to no end, the neck collar to fit around my waist. And it looked like a battle kilt Yep. as I, I jokingly called it and I got right into it. But if Mike, if because um, we I was co-captains with my roommate, we developed the team. If they ever said we're going to practice, you better believe I would have been tanked and not giving a rat's ass because mm -hmm. I'd be like, when game time comes, coach, I'll be ready. Until then, I'm just going to relax. And I, that's why I'm not a pro athlete today because I did not care. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I I can I can see that about you. I definitely. Can. Oh, thanks, Sam. Well, why don't you tell us what you give your all to and what you don't give your all to? <laughs> um, I think like a hundred percent. I give my all. Well, I gave gave my all to school, like to my education. I, I, uh, I, I, I gave so much of myself that I had a medical crisis because of it. Um, <laughs> I've never really, I'm, I'm just going to kind of glaze over this, but I never really talked about this on, uh, on our podcast, but I actually, uh, uh, ended up having a stroke yeah, <laughs> and legit. they say it was because of birth control, but I think it was actually because I was so highly stressed going into, cause it was the day before my, my first of my final exams to get my degree that uh i i honestly thought i was having like a nervous breakdown because i was like i can't talk anymore um but no yeah. lo and behold i had a stroke and took quite a long time to recover from that um so yeah if anything if i <laughs> i it's one of those things where like if i say like i gave my all to something like that and then told that story it's like oh she gave her all she gave yeah. literally everything she you gave her brain <laughs> yeah you have your brain your heart your little health just to complete it. but you did you've completed your education and yep. I know it might sound silly to like how I'm going to word it, but uh, you're our scientist. You have a, like, a scientific background um, within the field of biology. And I think that is one of the coolest things that we can say, like within our own little group, we have a scientist and a behaviorist. Like that's yeah. uh, who the hell can say that in a group. That's so cool. I know. So it's Sam, very, I'm cheering cool. to you, someone who literally, literally almost gave it their all, almost like their life to complete school. Well, if I'm going to cheers back, I need to pour my next beer. Just yeah, you so do you know. that. So I'm gonna wait, finish wait. mine. Wait. Oh yes. Get the mop. Get uh, the mop. Uh, <laughs> I am wet. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. This is gonna be the longest. Like I'm, I'm, I'm technically in the midst of cheersing you. All right, Sam. I gotta pour my next one out, and it's actually the same beer. So great, it's like I'm beer. pouring mine out. Oh, did I give it? Did I give it too much head? There's no There's such, no such thing. thing. Uh -huh, no such jinx. thing. I've never met a guy who ever said, no, that's too much head. Too much. Unless there's teeth. But we're oh, not look at it. Enough. Look at it. Oh, we kind of puffed up. Ooh. Puffed up. Ooh. You know, Good I used to be Sam. a bartender. <laughs> yeah. Sam, is that something you give your all to? Bartending or beer pouring? Both. Yes. Or head. It's, a, it, it's up or, to you. <laughs> yes, there you go. I give it my I'm all. I'm totally kidding. I don't. <laughs> but. Oh, damn it. It spilled on the computer. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to short circuit. Oh, damn it. It's in my rack. Oh, what'd you do? <laughs> Woody is uh, having technical difficulties. I'm back, though. 
my god ah, keep it in um you know what kids that's what happens when you do recordings in live and you just you're having a good time with friends shit happens but we get cleaned up we're ready to go i'm pouring my beer out sam tell us what uh, beer me and you are drinking at this moment before uh, i we, we are drinking going. all or nothings it's a full-time flagship again and this one's called take a break tropical ipa and it's it's very cute. It, this one, this one clocks in at six point eight percent ABV. <laughs> it clocks in at a whopping six point eight. I know. They even say it's strong beer, so be be wise, be be careful. This one has four hops, four different types of hops, and two two different types of malts. Look at us. And this Look one, us. the recommended mm -hmm. glass is an IPA glass. Again, didn't have an IPA glass. This is what I I went with. Did you change glasses. Of course I did because look, these are you. I, look I've I, got this was my this is my goblet I just I just kept the football yeah again <laughs> giving it giving it my all no when it comes to changing glass and putting effort into getting up and doing stuff that's another thing I give nothing to I did not you know I didn't give it my all I just I just put all the beers and the glasses that I want and brought them like where I'm recording Ooh. good Ooh. for you Sam well, I was in Okay, so my my review of this beer, first of all, the artwork, like, come on, Wonderful. it's so that's the guy that's the guy that fights everything. And again, I want him to be my friend. Um, I'm just going to read the blip on it. And I'm going to tell you my review. Um, take a break tropical IPA all or nothing. Take a break tropical IPA is an extremely juicy IPA that transports you to the vibes of the islands featuring pineapple, Whoa. mango and coconut undertones that are complemented with strong citrus notes. And, and, and you know what? Yeah. I don't taste any of that. I just taste deliciousness. <laughs> to, oh, and to be honest, I am not an IPA fan. And the thing really? was is that, oh, I am, I like for the most part, not like out of all the beers, all the different um, types of beers, yeah. IPAs are probably my least favorite. Like I do have a couple of them that I do like, but for the most part, they're too hoppy for me. I'm not really a big fan yeah. of like the hoppiness. Because sure. I find the hoppiness almost basically just like I feel like I kind of need to spit. Like it's just it's just there and it can't it can't go anywhere. But Fair this enough. one is so good. Well, Sam, let's cheers to this sucker. Let's have oh, a good no. drink. And then as cheers, good good beer. Can't can't uh, can't argue yeah. that. Yeah, just so everyone knows, that impromptu break was because Woody has a tiny bladder, <laughs> and literally it was just like, let's go. <laughs> We got an impromptu break. We'll see, but uh, yeah, you it was pretty impromptu. See, you're gonna see a weird, uh, maybe editing thing, or we don't care. It's live. It's, it's just what happens. But anyway, I, had to be. I was I was in the midst of of commenting on this on this take a break tropical IPA, and I had to take so, a break. I had to piss. <laughs> but you know what? When you were when I said earlier, I can't really taste the fruity tones. I tasted a bit more, and I, I jokingly said that I couldn't. Cause I taste that hazy, really IPA flavor. It's one I find with the more of the aftertaste, you let it sit for a little bit. You do get that hint, that hint of those fruity undertones. Mm -hmm. um, not enough where I notice them. I know a lot of other beer drinkers who are more into the reviews. They could easily do it. They'll, they would easily point it out. But yeah, for one that's labeled as a strong beer. So you like, I like my IPAs labeled for a strong beer at a, at a clocking out at a whopping 6.8%. I don't really notice it. I don't notice the alcohol percentage, the the hop, the hoppiness of a normal IPA. Like I'm gonna go to my IBU scale, because again, these cans have it all. It's only at 48, where the lager I have is at 35, and I don't I don't notice those big differences. Well, I just went from an 11 on an IPA, which is you know spinal tap, crank it up to 11. <laughs> Um, and now it's 48 and I was actually kind of concerned about that because I'm just like, oh, is it going to be like super hoppy? But yeah, like you said, it does have that that hazy IPA feel like taste to it. And actually, I am and I'm, I'm getting it. So my sister, my sister is really into uh, wine tasting. So I do know like some of the the tips and tricks, but this is more wine. But I feel like it kind of it kind of correlates. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. See, I'm going I might have to go off a little bit. I thought you said I know the tits and tricks, and I was just like, yep. "Yeah, the tits and tricks." Of course, when we when we talk about your sister, just has to go there. If you want to know who she is, go to Pornhub.com. Type in redhead. There it is. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? If I was to give my all or nothing to anything, this my all is this podcast. Clearly, you're giving like just. Ugh. 
Anyway. Oh, okay. Come oh. on. Come Sam, on. Come on. I'm, I give it my all. I like to think in this, um, definitely at the beginning of our podcasting days, this would have been something I would have definitely said. Not nothing, not all, but definitely somewhere in between on the lower side. Oh. I think we found a groove. We're finding our, like oh. much more joy in this, like Instagram, Facebook, and all that, and put more my all into it. Our recordings, we're putting a little bit more time and prepping and all that, even though we say it's a little, 24 hours earlier, but we still put some time into it. More time than we used to, because usually it was just like, okay, we are signing on, and what are we talking about? Pretty How much. Like we actually have some notes. I mean, it was only, we're getting, we're getting better, guys. We're doing, we're trying. We're doing our best. Better. But you better believe there's still something I give nothing to. Mm-hmm. I give jack all to. And Sam, you got it right the first time. It's working out. I'm one that I preach. I want to. I want to get into shape more. I want to do what my buddies did. A lot of them, they the, got into the gym guys. They cut weight down. They looked friggin' awesome. We had a, one guy, the old producer of the Mike's and Beer Show. Check him out at uh, Brandon Productions or mm-hmm. Bowden Productions. I I can't remember his Bowden handle. Boys. I think Bowden oh, Boys. Yes. Yeah. But he was someone. He was on. He was a bigger guy. He knows that. I know that. He cut down and looked great. You're. You're your boy, your man, guy in episode one, Justin, cut down. And I always thought, like, I got the beard cut. I wouldn't mind not a six pack, a six pack's for a long time. I look at some of these cut losers and I'm just like, holy shit, you put way too much time into that sun to look good. Look at me, I'm dead sexy. But I would like to be a little bit more toned. I wouldn't mind it, be a little healthier. I do one day, one day stretching, running, and all that. Next day, I'm drinking. And that's what I give my all to, ladies and gentlemen. When it's a drinking night, it's not that it's, you know, <laughs> no issues. I love the taste of beer. And all or nothing is now on that love list. And I'll give it my all. I'll just keep drinking, having a good time, shooting shit. Working out, still zero. But drinking's 100. I like that I was still in the middle of describing the beer. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I give nothing <laughs> to your comments. I give 0%. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Okay. I'm just going to cut this short. It's a good beer. Try it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, Sam. Oh yeah. No, Hey guys, this is why we got her on. She keeps me in line. Yeah. And also (laughs) my nothing is, um, is vacuuming by the way. That's, that's what I really, I hate vacuuming. I hate it so, so much. Of all the damn chores in the world. Uh, Of uh, what? Of all the damn chores in the world. You hate that. I love it. I'll clean all the bathrooms. I will. I will do. I will do kitchens. I will. I will dust. I. I will mow oh the lawn. I, who. Who hurt you? <laughs> I don't. Because you know what you want to know what hurt me. What hurt me is those those vacuums that have like the pull behind canister thing, because they get t- they get caught on the doors, and then you're just trying to go, but it's getting caught on the doors. I do you know how many vacuums I broke because I raged like I I hulked out on them and just like yanked them. I. I think I actually broke a couple of door frames too. I'm sick of you. This is what, you know, the podcast is over guys. This is our last episode. I'm done. <laughs> Vacuuming. No, no. Dishes and laundry, you know, cool. Nope, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it You're all. I'll do laundry. Sick, I don't care. Laundry is the easiest thing in the world. All you have to do is sort it, put it in there and then just wait. You've, you've got about half our clientele, half our viewers have just turned off. Because no one in their right mind likes folding and putting that shit away. Oh my god. So people, please comment about how much you also hate vacuuming or how much you think I'm wrong. If I do a goddamn or, poll, what's the worst chore? Vacuuming, dishes, laundry, or other. You better believe vacuuming is not coming close to winning. Nope. I am, I am, I again, I, and I know that some people think I'm strange because I'm like, I'll rather do ba- vac, uh, do bathrooms. And that yeah, was the no, thing. You- Growing up with my sister, I would say, like, you do the vacuuming because I was assigned that and I will do the bathrooms for you because she was just like, I will not do back, uh, do bathrooms. And I'm just like, I'm okay with it. Your bathrooms are fine. It's fine. You're, you're a sick human being. And that's why I'm going to take a break from doing those kind of chores. <laughs> hey, I plugged it back for you, Sam. You, Talk about that beer review. <laughs> I mean, I can't get mad because that was pretty good. <laughs> right. What can I say? I'm, I'm good. I'm good when I want to be. I don't give it my all. I don't give it nothing. I'm that guy that's in between on just about everything. Except yeah, the few things we talked about. Oh, my God. But, yeah. Sam, any any final closing comments about the company or do you give all or nothing to? Or do we just call her a friggin' day and go enjoy the shit weather? Um, I don't really want to go outside because it is raining and gross. Um, 
Let's keep drinking. Uh, I can say, okay, so if I was going to give one critique to All or Nothing, and this is like so minor, you're probably people are going to laugh at me for this. Well, Sam, why do, why do you talk about critiques? Is it something that Mike's and Beers likes to do? Brewery scores nowadays? Yes. That was the worst plug I know. That I was. It was. It was a horrible, horrible plug. Ah, was Segway City. So Because uh, Mike's and Beers, we like to give everybody a grade. We're yeah. still in school. Mm -mm. If you graduate, cool. You're still in school. <laughs> Getting okay. graded. This uh, so yeah. If I was going to give them a grade, I have to I have to actually do one critique. Um, yep. And again, this is going to seem very very minor. But if you go onto their website and you're trying to order something, um, <laughs> this is actually making me laugh. They so they're they're um, like the like for for add to cart. It's it's all yellow because that's that's like clearly that's their their label like that's their color is the yellow yellow and black for the most part. Um, it's all yellow and then they have like white writing so you can't actually see it very well so there you go that is my one critique it is minor it doesn't have anything to do with the beers and the beer quality but there you go that's that's my critique so sam out, out of 10 what would you give it with everything uh, you talked uh, about their merchandise their atmosphere everything i'm gonna you know i haven't actually sat out on their patio yet but i really i'm really looking forward to, tr to like going there and actually like trying it and stuff um I'm gonna give them a nine. Wow. They, okay. They, they I so My score so far. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So far, I've tried. So I I got like a like a whole bunch of their beers, and I had um, I gave one to Justin, and I dropped one off for my sister for them to try, and um, Justin tried this. Uh, it's a it's the uh, pastry stout. Uh, it's a glazed cinnamon roll one, and he just he's like it tastes like cinnamon rolls like it's crazy nice. so they he absolutely loved it my sister tried the fruit stand sour it is a strawberry hibiscus and she said um it actually tasted more like a cooler and she let she put it over ice and she just said like it's unbelievable how how fruity it is how refreshing it is so they also gave gave rave reviews huh. yeah. and for myself this might seem weird i'm gonna give the explanation i'm gonna give it a seven and a half and that's nothing against so and people got to realize seven and a half is still 75 percent, and it's with an asterisk and that's the biggest point for my score there's an asterisk 75 percent because i have not experienced the just the entire building itself got to meet these guys because i've heard so many cool things about them my score will only improve it can't go down so when you're told you're going to automatically get a 75 Fuck, what course in school did you need something higher than a 75? Not many. So the fact they're getting a 75 and can only go up, guys, when I finally get there, they're going to the 80, 85, maybe what Sam said, 90%. But just right now, just the beer alone, two beers I've had from them in their websites automatically got them a 75%. That's mm -hmm. friggin' huge. That shows the quality of this company. So guys, check them out. Like I said, I'm going to give it to you guys again one more time. Bring out my handy dandy notes. Check them out on their website at allornothing.beer. Mm -hmm. Go to the Instagram, allornothingbh, and Facebook, allornothingbrewhouse and distillery to see what we're talking about. They are in Oshawa, the city of Oshawa in the Durham region, just off of Ritson Road. Find them. Go check them out for yourself. And as well for us, guys, you want to hear more from us, hear more breweries that we're going to support, promote, and show love to. Check us out on Mike's and Beers on Instagram, Mike's and Beers on Facebook, Spotify, Anchor, and YouTube. Give us that like and subscribe button. We always appreciate that. We, oh, and, yeah. you know, we love every last one of you who support us. And, guys, I, I think that's it. So I've had a great time, Sam. Tell me I'm wrong. Um, and also, guys, if there's any brew houses that you want us to check out, please just comment comment like what you'd like us because we're we're full we suggestion box is open yeah we want, we want you guys to enjoy our podcast we want you guys to keep coming back um and if there's anything that you guys want us to um to to talk about if you have any any um you know inquiries about anything please just you know comment uh dm us you know whatever slide into the dms yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
cheers to you. That was the best plug we've had in a while. I never even thought about that just yet. Seriously. <laughs> I know. I, I'm not I'm not just a pretty face, you know? Girl, you everything. Sam gives all in the good places. Well, guys, thank you for checking in again. Find that like and subscribe button on all our social media platforms. We, we love you, we, and mm -hmm. we can't wait for another one. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. Good, good beer. Can't, can't, uh, can't argue yeah. that. Yeah, just so everyone knows, that impromptu break was because Woody has a tiny bladder. <laughs> and literally, it was just like, let's go. <laughs> Maybe not an impromptu break. We'll see. But uh, yeah, you, it was you pretty impromptu. <laughs> You're going to see a weird, uh, maybe editing thing or we don't care. It's live. It's, it's just what happens, but anyway, I, had to be. I was, I was in the midst of, of commenting on this, on this take a break tropical IPA. And I had to take uh, a break. I had to piss, <laughs> but you know what, when you were, when I said earlier, I can't really taste the fruity tones. I tasted a bit more. And I, I jokingly said that I couldn't cause I taste that hazy, really IPA flavor. It's one I find with the more of the aftertaste, you let it sit for a little bit, you do get that hint, that hint of those fruity undertones. Mm -hmm. um, not enough where I notice them. I know a lot of other beer drinkers who are more into the reviews. They could easily do it. They'll, they would easily point it out. But yeah, for one that's labeled as a strong beer, see, like I like my IPAs. Labeled for a strong beer, at a, at a, clocking out at a whopping 6.8%. I don't really notice it. I don't notice the alcohol percentage, the, the, hop, the hoppiness of a normal IPA. Like, I'm going to go to my IBU scale. Because, again, these cans have it all. It's only at 48, where the logger I have is at 35, and I don't, I don't notice those big differences. Well, I just went from an 11 on an IPA, which is, you know, spinal top. Crank it up to 11. <laughs> um, and now it's 48, and I was actually kind of concerned about that, because I'm just like, oh, is it going to be, like, super hoppy? But, yeah, like you said, it does have that, that hazy IPA feel like taste to it and actually i am and I'm, I'm getting it so my sister my sister is really into uh wine tasting so i do know like some of the the tips and tricks but this is more wine but i feel like it kind of it kind of correlates um <laughs> oh my god see i'm going i might have to go off a little bit i thought you said i know the tits and tricks and i was just like the yep. yeah the tits and tricks <laughs> of course when we when we talk about your sister just has to go there if you want to know who she is go to pornhub.com type in redhead there it is <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay you know what if i was to give my all or nothing to anything this my all is this podcast clearly you're giving like just ugh. anyway okay come oh. on come Sam, on come on I'm, i give it my all i like to think in this um definitely at the beginning of our podcasting days this would have been something i would have definitely said not nothing not all but definitely somewhere in between on the lower side I think we found a groove. We're finding our, like mm -hmm. much more joy in this, like Instagram, Facebook and all that. And put more my all into it. Our recordings, we're putting a little bit more time and prepping and all that, even though we say it's a little 24 hours earlier, but we still put some time into it. More time than we used to, because usually it was just like, okay, we are signing on. And what are we talking about? Pretty How much. Like we actually have some notes. I mean, it was only, we're getting, we're getting better guys. We're doing, we're trying, we're doing it's our best. Better. But you better believe there is still something I give nothing to. I give jack all to. And Sam, you got it right the first time. It's working out. I'm one that I preach. I want to I want to get into shape more. I want to do what my buddies did. A lot of them, they the, the, got into the gym guys. They cut weight down. They looked friggin' awesome. We had a, one guy, the old producer of the Mike's and Beer show. Check him out at uh, Brandon Productions or mm -hmm. Bowden Productions. I, I can't remember his name. voice. Now. I think Bowden oh, voice. Yes. Yeah. But he was someone, he was on, he was a bigger guy. He knows that. I know that. He cut down and looked great. You're, you're, I mean, your boy, your man, guy in episode one, Justin, cut down. And I always thought, like, I got the beer gut. I wouldn't mind, not a six pack, a six pack's for a long time. I look at some of these cut losers and I'm just like, holy shit, you put way too much time into that sun to look good. Look at me, I'm dead sexy. But I'd like to be a little bit more toned. I wouldn't mind it, be a little healthier. I do one day, one day stretching, running, and all that. Next day, I'm drinking. And that's what I give my all to, ladies and gentlemen. When it's a drinking night, it's not that it's, you know, <laughs> no issues. I love the taste of beer. And all or nothing is now on that love list. And I'll give it my all. I'll just keep drinking, having a good time, shooting shit. Working out, still zero. But drinking's 100. 
I like that I was still in the middle of describing the beer. <laughs> Well, there you go. I give nothing <laughs> to your comments. I give 0%. Clearly. Clearly. Okay. I'm just going to cut this short. It's a good beer. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, hey, guys, this is why we got her on. She keeps me in line. Yeah. Don't and also, <laughs> my nothing is um, is vacuuming, by the way. That's that's what I get. Really? I hate vacuuming. I hate it so, so much. Of so, all the damn chores oh, in the world. Uh, of all, What? Of all the damn chores in the world, Back you hate that. Nope. I love I will, it. I'll clean all the bathrooms. I will. I will do. I will do kitchens. I will. I will dust. I. I will mow oh the lawn. I, who. Who hurt you? <laughs> I don't. Because you know what? You want to know what hurt me? What hurt me is those those vacuums that have like the pull behind canister thing, because they get t they get caught on the doors, and then you're just trying to go, but it's getting caught on the doors. I do you know how many vacuums I broke because I raged, like I I hulked out on them and just like yanked them. I I think I actually broke a couple of door frames too. I'm sick of you. This is what you know. The podcast is over, guys. This is our last episode. I'm done. <laughs> Vacuuming. No, no dishes and laundry. You know. Cool. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it you're all. I'll do laundry. Sick, I don't sick care. Laundry is the easiest thing in the world. All you have to do is sort it, put it in there, and then just wait. You've, you've got about half our clientele, half our viewers have just turned off because no one in their right mind likes folding and putting that shit away. Oh my God. So people, please comment about how much you also hate vacuuming or how much you think I'm wrong. If I do a goddamn or, poll, what's the worst chore? Vacuuming, dishes, laundry, or other. You better believe vacuuming is not coming close to winning. Nope. I'm, I am... I again, I, and I know that some people think I'm strange because I'm like, I'll rather do back, ba ba uh, do bathrooms, and that yeah, was the no, thing. You. Growing up with my sister, I would say like, you do the vacuuming because I was assigned that, and I will do the bathrooms for you because she was just like, I will not do back uh, do bathrooms, and I'm just like, I'm okay with it. Your bathrooms are fine. It's fine. You're, you're a sick human being, and that's why I'm gonna take a break from doing those kind of chores. <laughs> hey, I plugged it back for you, Sam. You, talk about that beer review. <laughs> I mean, I can't get mad because that was pretty good. <laughs> right. What can I say? I'm I'm good. I'm good when I want to be. I don't give it my all. I don't give it nothing. I'm that guy that's in between on just about everything. Except yeah, the really. few things we talked about. Oh my god. But yeah. Sam, any any final closing comments about the company or you give all or nothing to, or do we just call her a friggin' day and go enjoy the shit weather? Um, I don't really want to go outside because it is raining and gross. Um Let's keep drinking. Uh, I can say, okay, so if I was going to give one critique to All or Nothing, and this is like so minor, you're probably people are going to laugh at me for this. Well, Sam, why do, why do you talk about critiques? Is it something that Mike's and Beers likes to do? Brewery scores nowadays? Yes. That was the worst plug I know. That I was. It was. It was a horrible, horrible plug. Ah, Segway City. So Because Mike's and Beers, we like to give everybody a grade. We're okay. still in school. Mm -mm. If you graduate, cool. You're still in school, <laughs> getting oh, graded. This uh, oh. so yeah. If I was going to give them a grade, I have to. I have to actually do one critique. Um, yep. And again, this is going to seem very, very minor. But if you go onto their website and you're trying to order something, um, <laughs> this is actually making me laugh. They so they're they're um, like they're like for for add to cart. It's it's all yellow because that's that's like clearly that's their their label like that's their color is the yellow yellow yeah. and black for the most part, um, it's all yellow and then they have like white writing so you can't actually see it very well, so there you go that is my one critique it is minor it doesn't have anything to do with the beers and the beer quality but there you go that's that's my critique. So Sam, out out of ten, what would you give it with everything uh, you talked uh, about their merchandise their atmosphere everything. I'm going to, you know, I haven't actually sat out on their patio yet, but I really, I'm really looking forward to, to like going there and actually like trying it and stuff. Um, I'm going to give them a nine. Wow. They, okay. They, they I, so I score so far. Um, yeah, yeah, so far I've tried. And so I, I got like a, like a whole bunch of their beers and I had, um, I gave one to Justin and I dropped one off for my sister for them to try. And, um, Justin tried this. Uh, it's a, it's the uh, pastry stout. Uh, it's a glazed cinnamon roll one, and he just he's like it tastes like cinnamon rolls. Like it's crazy. Nice. 
So they, he absolutely loved it. My sister tried the fruit stand sour. It is a strawberry hibiscus. And she said um, it actually tasted more like a cooler. And she let, she put it over ice. And she just said, like, it's unbelievable how how fruity it is, how refreshing it is. So they also gave gave rave reviews. Huh. Yeah. And for myself, this might seem weird. I'm going to give the explanation. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. And that's nothing against so... And people got to realize seven and a half is still 75%. And it's with an asterisk. And that's the biggest point for my score. There's an asterisk. 75% because I have not experienced the just the entire building itself. Got to meet these guys because I've heard so many cool things about them. My score will only improve. It can't go down. So when you're told you're going to automatically get a 75, fuck, what course in school did you need something higher than a 75? Not many. So the fact they're getting a 75 and can only go up, guys, when I finally get there, they're going to the 80, 85, maybe what Sam said, 90%. But just right now, just the beer alone, two beers I've had from them and their websites automatically got them a 75%. That's mm -hmm. friggin' huge. That shows the quality of this company. So guys, check them out. Like I said, I'm going to give it to you guys again one more time. Bring out my handy dandy notes. Check them out on their website at allornothing.beer. Mm -hmm. Go to the Instagram, allornothingbh, and Facebook, allornothingbrewhouse and distillery to see what we're talking about. They are in Oshawa, the city of Oshawa in the Durham region, just off of Ritson Road. Find them. Go check them out for yourself. And as well for us, guys, you want to hear more from us, hear more breweries that we're going to support, promote, and show love to. Check us out on Mike's and Beers on Instagram, Mike's and Beers on Facebook, Spotify, Anchor, and YouTube. Give us that like and subscribe button. We always appreciate that. We, oh, and, yeah. you know, we love every last one of you who support us. And guys, I, I think that's it. So I've had a great time, Sam. Tell me I'm wrong. Um, and also, guys, if there's any brew houses that you want us to check out, please just comment comment like what you'd like us because we're we're full we suggestion box is open yeah we want, we want you guys to enjoy our podcast we want you guys to keep coming back um and if there's anything that you guys want us to um to to talk about if you have any any um you know inquiries about anything please just you know comment uh dm us you know whatever slide into the dms yeah you know what I'm <laughs> Cheers to you. That was the best plug we've had in a while. I never even thought about that just yet. Seriously. <laughs> I know. I, I'm not I'm not just a pretty face, you know? Girl, you everything. Sam gives all in the good places. Well, guys, thank you for checking in again. Find that like and subscribe button on all our social media platforms. We, we love you, we, and mm -hmm. we can't wait for another one. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.